All right, this is a lesson I wanted to do about uh, uh, basically in here in uh, Proverbs and this uh, Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 5. It says, A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. And let me precept that uh, just a few verses down so that's proverbs 14 and 5 here's proverbs chapter 14 and verse where is it i just saw it 15 the simple believeth every word but the prudent man looketh well to his goings so i'll uh proverbs 14 and 5 and then 10 verses later, 14 and 15. So it says, uh, 14 and 5 again says, A faithful witness will not lie. So uh, somebody who has upright integrity, they're going to tell the truth. Even if that truth uh, puts them in jeopardy, they're going to tell the truth. That's, that's, that's what they do. They're going to tell the truth. They're going to be honest. It says, but a false witness will utter lies. What's, what's that? That's called slander. And slander. In Esau's uh, laws, slander is illegal. You got slander, uh, libel. If I remember correct, libel, I... B E L is the written uh, version of slander because there's different types of slander. I think libel is when you write something slanderous or type something like let's say you didn't say it but you typed it on a Facebook post or you wrote it in a letter or something like that. And through slander is how you can uh, defame a person's character. There's a such thing as defamation of character. So you're lying on somebody and you basically uttering all types of lies. And then you got people that will Proverbs 14 and 15. It says the simple believe every word you you got right now, even in the news. You have. Uh, it looks like a me Too movement on steroids. Everybody's being accused of. Sexual assault, this person did that, and it may, might be true, might not be true, who knows, could all just be a Hollywood act, I don't know. But, you ever notice that women are quick to believe all of the allegations, because that's what, I, what it is until it's proven uh, in the court of law, according to Esau, it's just allegation, allegedly. So a person stands accused of something heinous. A lot of people start believing. They start looking at this person different. Now, I don't want to associate with this person. You look at uh, Kobe Bryant. Before uh, the Eagle County, Colorado situation happened, or it was settled, he lost endorsement deals just off of the allegation alone. He lost endorsements. Nike didn't want nothing to do with him. He was involved in those uh, allegations. You got, you know, uh, companies that will drop you just off, hey, well, you associated with that. Ah, I'm good. Now, I don't I don't need all that. And that's what a, a, a liar does, a slanderous liar. But there's a defense to that. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7, and I think it's not 7, 7 and 1, maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll find out when I get there. It's like even just me talking to myself in my head, trying to figure out how to uh, find the precept that I'm looking for. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 1. I knew it was seven. Ecclesiastes 7 and 1, it says, A good name is better than precious ointment, 
in the day of death than the day of one's birth. What is a good name? It's a good reputation. You got a good name, you got a good reputation. Hey, you even, uh, let's say you have uh, cars. They have, you know, there are certain uh, names that you know, okay, I, 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 get, I get a Toyota, that's a good car. Because the Toyota is the name, but also that's the, the name of the company, but also that name comes with a reputation. They make good, reliable, dependable cars. You know, so if you have a good name and it's how you conduct yourself, when a, something slanderous happens, people are like, nah, he ain't do that. I don't believe that. No, nope, uh-uh, nope. Can't get me with that. People don't, people are about to believe that. But you have some people who will just lie and just, you know, busybodies. Notice that, uh, well, for you brothers who are uh, younger, you might not have noticed it. I'm 36 myself, but gossip and tabloids was, I mean, it's always been around, but it's like, that's a whole sect on YouTube. People trying to get rich off of gossiping. Breaking the first news, just just lying mixed with a little bit of truth, and you have stuff like that that goes on in Israel, and that's and that's that's sad. And you got simple that believe every word, everything that they hear. But like again, the Ecclesiastes seven and one, you stand on your square, you get a good reputation of yourself. Be that person that suffer uh basically uh suffer wrongly the most high exonerate you now that's part of your reputation the most high exonerates you from the whole, in front of you the whole church you being accused of something and you and you eat it and most high always exonerates you and he always exonerates you at the right time that's the beauty of it so it's basically this lesson is basically about, you know, how they how they say it now, standing on business, you know, having integrity about yourself. This is uh, Proverbs 14 and verse, uh, it's like you, Proverbs 13 and 6, the righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way. But the wickedness overthrows the sinner. So a person's righteousness will be what, what you know, upholds them and keeps them, you know, tight and firm. They're not leaning one way or, the, uh, or another way. Uh, you know, when you when you conduct yourself righteously, you and you do good business. You don't got to worry about let's say let's say you sell oil. You don't got to worry about somebody saying, oh, you shorted me or you mixed this with this or you did this or you cheated me. You know, you did good business. You don't got to worry about, you know, your your, your righteousness of, of integrity is what keeping you versus if, if you just a scamming ass nigga. Well, watch out for that nigga. Look at Polite. Tons of people said stuff about him. This is uh. Real quick, Ecclesiastes chapter ten and verse four. If the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place. Basically, stand bold. For yielding pacifieth great offensive offenses. Okay, let me read that again. It says if the it says if the spirit of the ruler, so ruler, is somebody who's basically, oh, basically over you. That's what a ruler is. Rise up against against thee, leave not thy place. For yielding pacifieth great offenses. You know sometimes 
you know, basically standing, you know, square, standing firm. Then the most high, you know, might calm that brother's spirit down. You know, but this thing is about uh integrity and keeping it. It goes a long way. Trust me. And on that note, I'm gonna give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakwadash Brakata. Double honors to the elders of GMS Ruel. Peace, citations to the Lake Akim, the four corners pushing the truth for sincerity. Peace be unto you and shall.